All right, so if you're at home, you will watch the video and then you'll be able to fill out your lab report. You can find this in Canvas, Chemistry Lab, Observation of a Candle. So I'll briefly read through the steps and then we'll get into the lab. So the first thing we're gonna do is light a candle, use the wax of the burning candle to kind of glue the candle down in place. The second step says to observe the flame. So you need to watch the flame, draw your own beautiful picture like I did here. And on number two on the back, you're gonna put eight observations of your flame. So what color do you see? What shape is the flame? Is it orange? Is it red? Is the wax burning? Is the wick burning? So eight, eight things you see. Then we will light a second candle this one will be burning. We'll light this one, we'll blow this one out, and then we'll hold it in the smoke and you'll watch the flame go back down and light the candle. It's actually kind of cool. So with the standing candle lit, we'll lower the wire gauze, holding it with the tongs. You'll make some observations about what the flame does. Then we're gonna add water to this pan. Or first we're gonna add water to the beaker, hold the beaker over the candle, make some observations about that. Then we'll add water to the pan, turn our Erlenmeyer flask over, put it over the candle, and watch what happens. While that's burning, you're going to be converting the oxygen to CO2. We'll take it off, we'll turn it over, pour lime water into there, put the stopper on it, and then we'll swirl it around. Because there's CO2 in here, it will react with the lime water and form a white precipitate. So the first step is to light the candle. And then don't turn it over to burn yourself, but, and I guess you won't actually be doing this, so you won't burn yourself at all. But four or five drips of wax down there. You're just basically gluing the candle in place. All right, so that's the first step. So you wanna observe the flame, what's happening? Is it orange? Is it burning all the way down? Is the wax itself on fire? Is the tip of your wick glowing? Hopefully you can see that in the light. So you should be able to make eight observations about the color, what's the flame doing, what's the shape. Right now the wind current is blowing it a little bit. So the second one is you light the candle and you blow the first one out and then you can light it without even touching it. So hopefully you saw that, but the, the smoke contains flammable substances and the fire will follow the smoke back down. So that's actually Kind of cool. So that's why if you have a house fire and your house is full of smoke, the fire department comes, opens the door, introduces oxygen in there, and you get this big flash of flame inside the house. So that's called a, a backdraft. So now crucible tongs. These are crucible tongs, by the way, if you missed that on your exam. So in mining days, they had something similar to this, but it was a cylinder shape. So imagine this were wrapped around here in a cylinder shape and they would hold it around their candles to keep the flame from burning out, but also to cause a little phenomenon where you actually get an increase in the light. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the flame actually gets a little bit brighter and then also makes this black stuff on there. So that's soot. If you're into art or if you buy paint or ink, you can still buy lamp black. Lamp black is literally originally soot collected from lamps. So the carbon in your candle didn't completely burn and is redepositing itself on the wire gauze. So now we put a little water in our beaker. It says to dry it off, but mine's dry, so we're good. And then you should be able to make some observations. Well, not only is it also putting soot on the beaker, but if you hold the flame there, you may not be able to see it in the candle, but you start to get convection currents where it's heating the water and you can start to see swirls in the water. So the flame actually will boil the water if you hold it there long enough. So now we're gonna put water in the pan.
And now we have an empty Erlenmeyer flask. I'm gonna stick this over the candle and watch what happens. So flame went out, the water, the flame is burning, consuming the oxygen, turning it into CO2. You can see the water rising up. Now I'm gonna quickly remove the flask and then pour the lime water into it. So the lime water was clear. It was a clear solution, looked like water. We should get a white precipitate as it reacts with the CO2 from the fire. So you can see how it turned white. So that precipitate is actually calcium carbonate. So seashells, chalk, coral reefs, that's what those are made out of. So now you have the information you need to be able to do your lab report. If you're in regular chemistry, you fill out your eight observations on step two whatever it asks you to record for the rest of the steps and then answer the questions. If you're in advanced chemistry, you have a different sheet, an extra sheet of equations that we can talk about on Monday.